our reflection for this Tuesday in Holy Week. Mark's Gospel sets out the last week of Jesus' life. There are many stories and we have chosen some of them in this Holy Week to help us reflect on the journey to the cross. God before us, God behind us, God above us. We are on your path, O oh God, in the turnings of the road, in the currents of the river. Be with us by day, be with us by night. Amen. Our reading from this reflection is taken from the Gospel according to Mark, as recorded in chapter 12. Chapter 12, 28-34 Religious leaders questioned Jesus about the greatest commandment. One of the teachers of the law came and heard them debating, noticing that Jesus had given them a good answer, he asked them, of all the commandments, which is the most important? The most important one, answered Jesus, is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. There is no commandment greater than this. Well said, teacher, the man replied. You are right in saying that God is one, and there is no other but Him. To love Him with all your heart, with all your understanding, and with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself, is the most important than all burnt offerings. And sacrifice. When Jesus saw that he had answered wisely, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God and from the one no one dared ask him any questions. Amen. Just a short reflection on the important passage. More questions. More questions. The teachers of the law were asking Jesus. When we look at our world today, we also want to ask questions, don't we? We read that the teachers of the law asked Jesus Christ a question that I believe we also would have pondered upon. We also would have thought about which of the commandments is the greatest? Which of the Ten Commandments as found in Exodus 20, 
is the greatest. Which one should I ensure I keep? Questions and many more questions would have played on our minds. The scripture in James chapter 1 in verse 5 says, If any one of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given to him. Let us ask questions. Questions that brings us towards Christ. Questions that help us to know the power and love of God. Asking God for wisdom, not as the teachers of the law had done, which was to test Jesus Christ. But for us to come to the true knowledge of He who has called us, of He with whom we are joining to the cross. Jesus, knowing the minds of the teachers of the law, gave them two new commandments. He did not cut from the ten in Exodus, but gave them two new ones that embraces the love of God, that encompasses all. He said to them, God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. He gave them two new commandments that puts the love of God in the center. It is this love of God that we need to embrace this Holy Week as we think of the cross. It is this love of God that we need to practice and show to our neighbours. Therefore, love the Lord your God with all your hearts, with all your soul, with all your might, with all your strength. And love your neighbor as yourself, as there is no commandment greater than this. Amen. Let us pray. Most gracious God, we come to you asking that you direct our ways. When we love your neighbor, when we love our neighbor as ourselves, when we come to the realization that you are our God, put into our hearts love for your creation, so that we will be able to walk according to your way. As we look around our fallen world, we think of situations, people, and events that challenge us. We come to the realization that all will be well if we truly love our neighbors as ourselves. Father, empower us to do your will. And as we think of the cross, may the power that rose Jesus Christ from the dead continue to work for us. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.
we will now sing the hymn, Jesu, Jesu, fill us with your love. Jesus, Jesu, fill us with your love. Show us how to serve the neighbors we have from you. Kneel at the feet of his friends, silently washing their silently washing Master who wants us as a Grace of God, our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. <laughs>